Hey there everyone, today we're going to have a look at the game mode and difficulty command when you're using Minecraft Education. Alright, so I've kind of grouped these two together for no apparent reason. I just kind of feel like when you're setting up these that one plays on the other. Um, uh, but I'll kind of explain that as we're going. So let's look at the very first one here, which is just game mode and it's a really simple one you determine the game mode and you can also as optional determine who's affected by that game mode there are three main ones that we look at in minecraft education which is survival creative and adventure and we can kind of abbreviate them differently in the game so there's actually three different ways you can write it you can write creative you can write or you can just write C, or you can also just write one. So three ways to do exactly the same thing. The second one here is uh, difficulty, which is like one of the shortest commands, where you just write difficulty and the name of the difficulty. Now there are four difficulty modes, so peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. And again, they can be abbreviated as P, E, N, or H. Now, quite often, like if you're changing game mode, you also may be changing difficulties. Not always the case, but it is common that those two can occur. So we're gonna make both of them happen at the same time. So this is kind of a little bit more of a complex use of commands to build out a slightly longer algorithm. So here we are, we basically are going to pass through our next level of our game and in order to do that we're basically going to say that if a player um you know stands on or a pressure plate is activated then i want the game mode to go to survival and i want the difficulty to be normal let's say so i'm going to jump down here because this is where we're going to set things up i'm going to show you how we can kind of do a nice little simple double activation here of the two so i'm gonna place down two command blocks because there's two commands i'm putting in let's open up the first one and write in the first one um so we're currently in creative mode in this game so we're going to go game mode and then we're going to go s for survival but you could write survival or you could put its number value in as well i'm going to go at p just for the nearest one now that's really important to do because if you execute that and you don't want other players to change their game mode basically it'll just apply to everyone and everyone will move to that game mode so you might have multiple it might be a multiplayer game and you don't want other people because they haven't passed a checkpoint let's say to change game modes yet so that's our first one let's do the one behind it and this is where we're going to change the difficulty so maybe things have been really difficult so far or maybe they've been peaceful and we're going to start changing things quite often when you're doing a little bit of game design maybe as you progress in the game it gets more difficult and it's harder to survive so we're going to write difficulty and let's just go normal i'm just going to write n or you could write normal as well if you wanted to now, how do I join these two together? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some redstone. I'm gonna hold shift. And if you're using your coding cards, you would notice that the and card has the little redstone on it. Don't hold shift too long because you'll get the sticky keys turned on. But you can just see that I placed redstone on top of these two command blocks. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna fly up is I'm gonna put this pressure pad here. And what's gonna happen is when I stand on this pressure pad, it will send, it'll trigger or send that signal through this block, which will still charge this piece of redstone, which will activate the command block. So it's a bit of a chain reaction. And because those two pieces are connected, it'll also activate the one after it. So you can see when, just as with a simple pressure pad, I could have about, I could have, well, if I use this whole space, I could have six different things in my game that change that are all just connected by one trigger. Okay, so quite a long algorithm. So I'm gonna come up here, let's fix that up. So we're gonna cover this all up. Let's put this down. And then you'll just kind of inadvertently kind of notice it in the, the up in the top corner. So if I just move through, and it says here that your game mode has been set to survival and the difficulty changes as well. 
Now, if you're in this world doing this training and all this is accessible, I'll put the link in the description, is that when you all you have to do is just talk to this NPC and when you're done talking, he'll switch you back to the mode that you need to be in. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one and we will see you again soon. Cheers.